This prophetic encouragement is from Robin Kirby Gatto, and was published on November 10, 2023. You are in the midst of change. I hear the Father saying, You are in the midst of change my child, where my direction will be made known to you, as I have opened a door before you that no man can shut, and you have asked, What am I to do next? I am the God, whom you have leaned on, not leaning on your own understanding, and you have acknowledged me in all your ways. I am directing your path into that which you cannot even think or imagine. As things suddenly changed for Esther and her people, with the dawning of a new day after I dealt with their enemy, I am doing the same for my people in this hour. The devil your enemy, has been like a roaring lion around you and your loved ones, but you have recognized this and not given into his ways. You have stood your ground, feeling as though you were tossed about, but I tell you my child, I have rooted you deeply and grounded you securely in the love of my son. You even felt that you were failing and like Peter, wanted to walk away from the call and questioned if you were in the faith. I tell you my child, you have prevailed over the evil one, as Jacob did Esau, where my love has driven fear out of your heart and mind, to be ready for the task at hand, as I called my set-apart ones, to enter into the place of authority destined for them. I am with you my child, do not doubt it for a moment and know that I do a new thing, you will perceive it, and wonder, is this God? I tell you my child, it is me, and I would comfort you and give you peace, that although you feel insufficient, I am the all-sufficient one. Step into the new anointing I have for you, and watch what I will do to bring many out of darkness and into my marvelous light. I am with you. I love you. Here are some verses for this word. Genesis chapter 32 verses 26 to 30 from the Amplified Bible. Then he said, Let me go, for day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you declare a blessing on me. So he asked him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And he declared a blessing of the covenant promises on Jacob there. So Jacob named the place Peniel the face of God, saying, For I have seen God face to face, yet my life has not been snatched away. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verses 13 to 14 from the Amplified Bible Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. And Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Now the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented and terrified him. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 8 to 10 from the Amplified Bible For once you were darkness but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light live as those who are native born to the light for the fruit the effect. The result of the light consists all goodness and righteousness and truth. Trying to learn by experience what is pleasing to the Lord and letting your lifestyles be examples of what is most acceptable to Him your behavior expressing gratitude to God for your salvation. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 from the Amplified Bible 
but all things become visible when they are exposed by the light of God's precepts, for it is light that makes everything visible. For this reason he says, Awake, sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine as dawn upon you and give you light. Therefore see that you walk carefully living life with honor, purpose, and courage. Shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the very most of your time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence, because the days are filled with evil. Here's a pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, God of all grace and mercy. You know, Lord, how I stood my ground when I felt the waves crashing and trying to toss me around. I wrestled with you, Lord, at night, and now the hour of daybreak has come. Thank you for directing and leading my life. I step into the new anointing and new level of authority that you have for me. For once, I was darkness. Now I am a light in you, Lord. I walk as a child of light. I walk in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. I awake from slumber as Christ shone like dawn upon me and gave me light. I live life with honor, purpose, and courage. I am wise, sensible, intelligent, and discerning. I make most of my time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence. Father, you have shut the door to darkness. And, now I will bring many out of darkness and into your marvelous light, in Jesus' name, Amen. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Robin Kirby Gatto, please visit her website.